Hey, what's going on guys? It's been a while. So, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to get a essence 20 times your level. Unfortunately, I can't do 20 times my level just due to the fact that I'm playing hardcore. So, I can only go so high without dying. But if you're playing softcore or anything, you could definitely go 20 times your level. What you want to do is you want to find maps. Uh, basically around the highest level you can do without dying and you're actually going to craft these maps you want to get uh, so on your maps if you look it says 77 percent higher item level it says 37 percent increase item drops blah 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 all that fun stuff we're gonna craft some maps real quick Let's see, what do we have? 31 and 40. I could probably craft that up a little bit higher. Uh, let's see, I got... Need the imbues, need the relics. So I'm going to craft these maps real quick. Or the portals, whatever you want to call them. Maps, portals. And you're pretty much just going to do this. You want to get them up to 5. So that gives me now 120 percent higher item level you want to do it with higher level uh, higher maps as well like better maps so that way you get more this right here will add a six this right here will add a seven so now it's 176 percent higher item level so what that's going to do is it's going to give me a drop like this uh, map is 18.9 it's going to give me a drop from like 19.4 or something like that we're also going to do this map to see if I can get it a little bit higher. I'm hoping I can, because the higher the better. So this right here, already 166%. So this map's actually going to be the map we're going to be farming on. So 222% higher item level, which is beautiful. Now, this trick... Hold on, let me... Just in case I die on accident. This trick is for getting, in essence, 20 times the level of what you have. And so you're basically at the highest essence you can put on an item versus your level is 20 times higher than your level. What that does is it allows you to ha it allows you to have like a higher flat damage, a higher force field, and so on and so forth. But there's a way of doing it to to where you don't have to actually, you just have to get lucky one time in these maps. So what I'm going to show you is how we're going to do this. So for my one-handed ones, I'm going to click all one-handed ones. I want to find just any wand, anything on it. I don't care what is found on it and I'm going to hit apply. I also want amulets. I also want two-handed staffs. I want anything on it, don't care what's on it. And I want amulets. Amulet, 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 amulet. Amulet. Perfect. Apply. So all these right here, I don't care. I just want an amulet to drop, a wand to drop and other things so now we're gonna go in here and we're gonna start farming it so as you see it's gonna start dropping all this crazy stuff just like this boop we're gonna pick it all up I think I have enough wands now so I want to shut the off my wands and I want to make sure I'm not gonna accidentally die I'm gonna go reset the filter I'm gonna get rid of the wands so layer status off, layer status off, and I want amulets now. So now we're going to go back in, give it a couple seconds, and go back in. Now I just want amulets. So these amulets and these wands are from 19.4, like I said earlier. So 19.4 means what I'm going to be rolling on them is going to be from 19.4. Which is, I think, level, what is it, 15 AB, 16 AB, something like that. 
<clears throat> I just want a few more amulets because there's a couple things I want to get on them. And trust me, you're gonna need a lot of uh, you're gonna need a lot of resources to be able to do this. But luckily for me, if you look, I have more than enough resources to do this. Let's put all that back. Let's put all this back. I want a few more amulets, and then we will start the crafting process. Now this is one of those things that if you want to stay competitive in softcore you could do 20 times the level because it doesn't matter if you die. In hardcore you kind of want to avoid it because you don't want to die but you still want to get as high a level as you can. And I mean a 5 times the level is a lot better than nothing at all. So I have enough now. I don't want to be in that portal anymore because I don't want to end up dying. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a whole bunch of these. And we're actually going to start with a weapon. Now all I'm doing is I don't really care what rolls on it. I just want to roll this weapon until I get an orange essence on it. Once I get an orange essence on it, we will go on to the next stage. But... I, I did want to apologize for taking so long to make a new video. Unfortunately, life happens and things get really busy. I do want to make more videos, but unfortunately, I got to find the time to do it. I figured this would probably be one of the quicker videos. I mean, it could take a lot longer, but it'd be quick and it'll show you how to get a much stronger uh flat essence for your weapon or flat essence for your amulet and so on and so forth so that way you can farm higher levels gain more experience points stay up higher on the leaderboards and stuff in hardcore you don't want to go as high as softcore though because in softcore it doesn't matter if you die in hardcore you die you die and I kind of want to keep my character at version 1 right now. Now, once I roll an orange essence, what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-roll it to the damage type I want. So, I'm going to sit here, blah, blah, blah. And this could take... A log while but the thing will pop up and let you know hey you're about to re-roll an orange essence I mean I've gotten lucky and I rolled an S before on a flat uh, physical damage for my hunter last season which kind of blew my mind because that's damn near impossible to do I mean the chances of it happening are so low but it happened and I was quite happy about it But we're just going to stay here and do this until we get an orange essence. An orange essence, blue essence, or yellow essence. And it doesn't matter what kind of stat pops up for it or anything because we're just going to... There we go. So now we have the orange essence. Perfect. No, I don't want to leave that. So now with this, I want to go here, grab a whole bunch of these, and it only costs one, so I mean it's not like I'm wasting that much. And now I'm going to, I mean poison damage isn't bad, but I kind of want ice damage. Cold damage. There we go. Perfect. So, now I have cold damage. So, now I'm going to disassemble it. Look at the damage compared to my gold damage I have on this. I have 28.9 million to 46.09 oh million. This one weapon from doing a portal with 220% higher item level from a, a level that is a lot higher gives me 
a lot more damage from this. And this, I'm not done yet. So, I'm going to disassemble this, pull this, and now we're going to go farm a little bit. So, let me put all this stuff back, blah, blah, blah. Where are all these? We're going to put all this back. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to pull out my other set of gear because I want to do this as fast as possible. So this right here is my farming set. And the reason it's my farming set is because it's the Marauder set. And it's going to allow me to do things very quickly. Da, 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 da. I want that there, that, that. I don't really care about that and that. This right here, of course, is always going to give me more damage just because this is why I wanted to get the uh, amulets because I love running damage on amulets. A lot of people will dis disagree with me, but I enjoy it, so... We all got our own play styles. We all enjoy the game a little bit differently. I happen to like damage on my stuff. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking for a 110% durability items. So, let me actually unlock a new page here. And I'm going to put all these over here because I'll play with all these later. I just want to make this video to show you guys real quick on how to actually do this. So now, <clears throat> I'm going to roll down to the one-handed staff, so I'm going to turn it back on, but I'm going to turn durability on 110%. And I don't really care about what drops here, because I'm just going to add the affix anyways, <clears throat> and I'm going to do the same thing here. So now, one of these two, now I'm going to go to a lower level. We're going to go to like 16-1. <clears throat> and I'm going to continue continuously purify going through to find that item. Damn it, hold on, I forgot to shut off some stuff. Amulet off, apply. I want those on, but I wanted to make sure it's 110%. That one's 110, but we're going to need a few of them. Portals are always nice because I can always find S plus items in it. <coughs> I'm going to want several of these. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, we're going to be farming for a good minute. I want a few more of these because... It could take several times before I get the item upgraded. But pretty much what I'm doing is I'm forcing a S plus damage essence. And this is probably one of the fastest ways to do it. It takes some time. But, I mean, you can sit there and farm the same level over and over again, hoping for an S-plus to drop. Or you can force one within a few hours and be able to go up to higher levels and do stuff. But this is what a lot of players do, so that way they can stay competitive on the leaderboard. I have not done it this season because I just haven't had the time. I've been playing my character basically idle. And I, for probably the last six days, I've been doing purifier runs just so that way when I do start playing active, I can be a little bit more competitive. Unfortunately, with hardcore, like I said earlier, I can't run higher level portals just because I don't want to die. But for the softcore players, you can. Just remember that you can only go 20 times higher than your level essence if you go anything over that then you won't be able to use the weapon until you get to the level you can use the weapon so let's see we got all those all right so now i'm gonna come here i'm gonna pull out all of these we're gonna pull out all of these those we don't have to we're gonna pull out these and we're gonna pull out these right here 
go to the blacksmith. Oops. Right here, right here. Add that. I always add one of these because I want to save as much as possible on durability. Add ones. Uh, open suffix. Go here. Go here. Now, you're going to put one of these in here. Or you're going to use that. You're also going to use this. You're going to select the essence. Oh, damn, it's the suffix. I need the affix. My bad, people, my bad. So we're going to go back. Do that. 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 Prefix. Prefix, suffix, whatever. Go here. Go here. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Select the essence. This one right here. All right. Now it's going to say iron needed, 756, heating zone success rate, 2%, 10%, 18%, 20%. It's going to cost me 3K iron. Heating stone needed, 20, success rate, blah, 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 blah. It says durability loss on successful crest is 20 to 31%. A lot of people use 10% because it's less durability loss and I agree with them on that so let's hope it upgrades and it did not so we're gonna do it again pull it out go back here go to another thing add that do 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 one, two. Oh, it opened up two. Whatever. I don't care. I'm just demonstrating. Do, 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 do. Back to that. Select. Where is the cold one? Right there. We're going to do that. Bring it back up to 10%. And we are going. Yeah, I could actually lower. this to save some iron. I don't really care about losing iron. I find so many items anyways that it doesn't really matter. So go back to that. And you pretty much repeat this process until you get the item. And you want to upgrade it twice. So you got to think trying to upgrade it twice is a pain in the ass. So we're going to go here. And we're just going to keep on repeating the process over and over again. This is why you want 110% durability items. I'm so tired right now. I just want to get some sleep. Perfect. So we're going to go to, where is my fire? Oh yeah, that's right, it's a weak one. So it actually negates some of the damage. It, uh, when I put it on a normal one, the damage will be a lot higher. But on a one-handed one, it's a lot weaker. So back to that. That. 10%. Scroll back down. And add. Nope. Horrible luck tonight. Which is fine. We're just going to keep on going until we get it. Because I actually do need one of these two. Is it prefix or suffix? I can never remember. There it is. Alright. And luckily, I have more than enough resources to keep on doing this over and over again. This is horrible luck tonight. And it downgraded. Holy shit. How unfucking lucky is that?
Hawkins hit 93, what is this, 92% and it downgraded. <laughs> I dig it, whatever. Alright, time to go back to rerolling the new fucking orange. Uh, how unlucky am I? Do, 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 do. But yeah, this is time consuming, but in reality, it's so much faster than sitting there hunting for an S plus essence that you could possibly want. Now, if you want, you could waste all your shit and just roll a blue or roll uh, S, but like I said, the chances of getting those are damn near impossible. And the reason I won't uh, re-roll the, what is it, the other cold damage one is because at, at as soon as it downgrades, it's pretty much a waste to do it. Because you, it's like if it downgrades it again, you're just losing more value and wasting more time. I think Adriel, when he first stated this, he used like, what was it, like 8,000 relics or something like that? But we're going to try and do it as quick as possible so that way we can all get some sleep for the night. And it's like most people can be like, well, you could just level up and get up there and grab one from there, but it's like, why would I waste my time doing that when I can just get one now, go straight there and start leveling up there and then progress my character ten times faster than you're progressing your character. But it's a nice little trick. It works out well when you actually finally get a upgrade. Feels pretty good to get the upgrade, especially once you get the S plus one, because that S plus damage is absolutely stupid. And me, I already have everything I need to build the actual weapons I want to build. So I just gotta get the flat for it. Come on, one orange, one blue, one S. One orange, one blue, one S. But yeah, this is... If you can't tell, this is for much later in game because I can restock all these relics and everything extremely fast, so I'm not worried about wasting them. Earlier on, you might want to just do an orange one because if you notice, the orange one is still a lot stronger than the one I'm wearing now, but I want the strongest one so that way I can go further. And sometimes I do give up and I either just stick with the blue or the orange one. So, it's all up to you depending on how you want to play, how you want to do your own game. I mean, look at this, I've already wasted 500 plus of these relics just to try and get an orange. But 
But you got to think, I'm going to do this four more times with my amulets as well, just so that way I can get damage amulets. So I'm going to be wasting a lot of resources, and then I will idle again for several days to get all those resources back. Except those resources will be coming back because I'll actually be idling to level. <clears throat> and then once I'm at a certain point, I'll make a new pur purifier to farm even higher stages to get all my new S pluses. And it's just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And don't get me wrong, sometimes you can get lucky in the map and you can end up finding a uh, S plus fucking weapon modifier or a weapon flat and not have to do any of this, but the chances of it of happening are extremely low. So that's why this is just faster to do it. And trust me, it is going to take you some time. But you could get lucky. You could get a lot luckier than me. It's like I've gotten it. I think the fastest I was able to upgrade one was like 10 minutes. The longest it took me was like an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. But trust me, it's so much more worth it because you gain so much more experience points. You're able to kill so many more mobs at such a higher level that it's like it, it accelerates your gameplay so much. And I'm not even doing it for like an insanely strong one either that you can do in like softcore. Because if you look at the top of the softcore leaderboard and stuff like that, most people with their essences are using essences that are 20 times their level. This kind of makes me want to work on the red one. <laughs> It'll eventually hit. I'm just happy the relics don't, like, lose durability or anything like that. That would be such a pain in the ass. So there we go. Now we got the orange back. And now we're going to pull out these. And I'm going to roll another cold one. Luckily, it only uses one. Lightning damage isn't bad, and I did want to make that lightning damage weapon, to be honest. I'm going to try and reroll this one. I'll find a uh, cold essence next time. Alright, anyways, back to disassembling. Grab the essence. The essence is still stupid strong. And we're going to go back to the 110%. Put that in. Put that in. Alright, where is it? The lightning one? So I would love to just do that. That's such a good chance. There's not that much of a difference between 12 and 21. That's 12%. Eh, we'll keep it here. Alright, wish me luck. And no. Do, do, 
do 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 I think I might be ma making a mistake here. No, I'm not. Alright. Where's my lightning? Do, do, do. Add that, that, back to that, and upgrade. Nope. Yeah, this is the worst luck. Holy hell, this is bad luck. That's okay, though. It's not like you're actually wasting that much time. It's like I said, you can sit there and try and farm an S, but you can't even do that. I mean, it's taking me, like, eight minutes to do that level. But if I get this upgrade, then it's going to allow me to idle the level within, like, three minutes, four minutes. Beep. Prefix. Prefix. Thank you. One, two, three, let's go. <gasps> ba -da, da We got the upgrade. Beautiful. Now we're going to disassemble it, and it didn't downgrade. Perfect. Now we want to go for the S. Yes. Pray to the RNG Jesus to get that S. RN Jesus, are you on our side today? Will you help me? Will you give me what I need? Ten percent. Let's go. S S S S S. Nope. And the reason you have to disassemble it is because fucking if you do it again you're gonna <laughs> lose all the durability and it's gonna downgrade anyways and da -da. but you could see how valuable this actually really is and you gotta remember the damage is gonna be a lot higher because I'm gonna be using it on a two-handed staff not a one-handed staff I'm just using these because of the 110 percent durability And the reason I'm using red ones is just because I have like 20 billion of them. Up, up, uh, prefix, suffix, prefix, prefix. Oh my god, that is horrible luck. I don't even want to use this one, to be honest. I'm going to chuck it out, actually. I don't even want to use that one. Prefix, thank you. That's way too low for it to actually do that. Where's the lightning damage? Select that, put that in, put that in. 10% chance. Let's go. Nope. And don't get to stay discouraged or anything like that. Just keep on going and keep on going until you get it. Because eventually you will get it. And when you do, you'll feel really, really good about it. So, that, that, do, 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 that. Prefix, prefix. Okay. I'll do that. That's not too bad. I hate it when it does that, but that's still not too bad. But look at the damage. 66 to 111 million and you get this to an S, the damage is just insanely stupid. Alright, and RNG Jesus, let's go. Hook it up one time, one time. You 
you suck. I'm going to say you suck, and now I'm going to disassemble it, and it's going to downgrade. No, it didn't. Okay, good. Let's see. How many more do I have? I have this one. This one actually already has lightning damage on it, so that's actually beautiful for me. So we're going to do that, that. Did I make a mistake? Oh, no, it doesn't already have lightning damage on it. It's trash. All right, so I got to go and farm a bit more for some 110%. So let's go get some 110%. thirty six minutes so it's taken us thirty six minutes to get a blue essence we've wasted over a thousand relics <laughs> and if we can get this S plus before the hour is up that means it was a hundred percent worth it and the damage I will be putting out on my next weapon will be beautiful because I already know the weapon I'm gonna make with it I do need to get a cold one though for active play. But I want to test this. I want to test that lightning damage, the one where it casts lightning and then 0.8 seconds later it casts lightning again. I want to test that on hell and see the damage output on hell. That's why I'm not trying to level up that much right now because I'm trying to stay around a level while having higher essences to do stuff. So let's see, how many do we have? We have a few. Perfect. Now back to doing this. Let's see. Trash. That one's pretty good. So we're going to put that in. How much would I actually save if I were to do this? Nah, it's not worth it. Prefix. Thank you for the prefix. All right, Aaron Jesus, let's go, buddy. Hook it up one time for the one time. Nope. And pray it doesn't downgrade. <coughs> Come back here, do it again. Boo, 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 and boop. Prefix, perfect. Select essence. Do, 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 do. do that, add that, add that. Do it again. Oh, that's 95%. That's actually really good. All right. Back to this. Prefix. That, that. Prefix, perfect. Definitely a repetitive process, but definitely worth it, worth it when it actually goes through. Uh, ha -ha, ha -ha. Oh, and I have more of these, so I'm not even concerned about that. We're just hoping I don't waste them all trying to do this. Prefix perfect. Add that. Add that. Where 
where is it at? Lightning, 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 right there. Let's go. One, two, three, and please be yellow. Nope. We're 40 minutes in. If we can get this yellow, then we literally just got an S plus faster than most people would. And we got a really strong S plus, but we have to actually have it happen. Prefix, perfect. Here, select. Lightning, 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 lightning. One, two, and like I said, it takes a lot of resources to do. But later on in the game, you have the resources to actually do it. Prefix. Prefix. Lightning. Not enough heating stones. What do you mean? I got like millions of these things. Let's go. Upgrade. <laughs> Fucking A, man. At least it turned blue. It's like I'd settle for a blue, but I want it to be yellow. The video is supposed to be a yellow one, not a blue one. And da da da. Prefix. Perfect. Uh, uh, uh. And the reason you do 10%, like I said, is because you don't want to completely eliminate your chance of getting the blue back, and you don't want it downgrading. So, back to farming more. <coughs> boop, 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 boop. Luckily, you find it pretty quick, especially with the Mara set, because my Mara set right now is giving me... Let's see, where is it at? My item quantity... Fuck's my item quantity? Item quantity bonus, 80%. I'm not wearing my amulet? No, I am. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's right. I get 100% in actual uh, portals. Because I run the two nipple rings. And these portals right here, even though it's 16-1, they're still very valuable just because it's like you could sit there and get S pluses off of them and stuff. You just maximize them and do that. I'm very wasteful with my resources because I believe that resources are never ending. I mean, you could sit here and farm for hours and get resource after resource after resource and stuff. So why not upgrade your maps to get the maximum amount of value out of every single thing you're doing? That's just me. Everybody else will probably not agree with it. But we all got our own different play styles. And I like to waste my resources. Get a couple more wands and then go back to trying to get an S plus. Then once this video is over, I gotta work on getting a cold flat and then T 
two ami flats. Do, do, do. We'll run the rest of this level and then move forward. Let's go and see if we can get lucky now. Pick a ball, put a ball town portal, and da -da 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 perfect. Blacksmith, back to work. Uh, where is everything of mine? Right there and right there. Prefix. Prefix. Thank you. Lightning, 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 that, that, and that. Ten percent. Heating stones needed, fifteen, that's perfectly fine. It's like, of course, when you're making a YouTube video, it's never going to work out the best for you. But... We got all the time in the world to sit here and do this over and over again. Prefix. 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 Thank you. And the only reason I check it out is I don't want too low durability and end up screwing myself where it downgrades. That, that, 15, pink. Let's go, S plus. Nope. Unlucky, bro. I had a 93% chance and it fucking downgrades to an orange. Oh my god, this is not the day. This is definitely not the day for this. Son of a bitch. I'm actually like depressed now. Like hyper depressed. <laughs> that is the most unluckiest fucking thing on the planet right there. Holy shit. How unlucky do I have to be for that to happen? Look, 94%. It was 93% and it fucking downgraded. That's, It's like when I fucking uh, tried to put, what was it, S plus uh, percentage cold damage or something. And I had a 96% chance to do it, it failed. And then a 94% chance to do it and it failed again. Ah. Uh, unlucky, bro. Unlucky. What am I doing? I need to grab some more resources. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm really fucking dumbfounded on how that downgraded. That blows my mind. If I don't get it, though, you guys understand the concept of how to do it. Because eventually I'm going to have to go to bed. I really wanted to have the S plus before I crashed out for the night, though. Turn blue. One time. Uh-huh. 
Anyways, how's your guys' this night going? Because mine apparently is fucking trolling me. I don't mind though. It is what it is. You either get lucky or you don't. Ninety five percent. I hate those high numbers when it's like 95, 96% and you get dicked on it anyways. <laughs> Whatever. Prefix. Prefix. Thank you. Back here. That. That. that select. That. That. 10%. Boop. 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 Nope. Eighty-eight percent, and it fucking did it. Discard all. Okay, anyways, that is the concept. That is how you do it. Yes, it does work. No, I am not getting any type of luck tonight, and I am done rolling items. Thank you guys for stopping by. Make sure you like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. Sorry that I wasn't able to do it, but tonight is not my night. Everything is very unlucky, but I wanted to show you guys a way to climb faster, and I pretty much just got completely trolled by the game. So this shall be known as the most unluckiest video of all time. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you all. Like, subscribe, hit me up. Leave comments. Tell me what else you would like to see. Peace out.